Hello everyone, Gliderman here. So today we're back in our Project 1 project, and we're in the project.java class. So we're going to deal with a little bit of math and what we can do with math in there. Um, so we're just going to delete these three primitives that we've got here, uh, just for easier reading for right now. And we're going to make um, a little delay function in our while loop. So down here, after it, ro after it travels 12 inches forward and then it rotates a random direction, then we're going to say it delays for a certain amount of time. However, we want it to delay in seconds, and we've only got milliseconds. So if we just put that in, um, we need a value, and we're just going to call it period because that's just what that one is called. So we're going to make it an integer value and do that. So now it'll use the integer value that we've defined up here uh, into the delay function there. So up here, we can also do some assigning. And I don't believe we really covered this before. Um, but it's something that you can do, and it can clean up your constructor uh, a lot. So uh, we can do an assign just right there. And then we want to, say, delay for a certain number of seconds. However, that does milliseconds, so we need to basically multiply the number of seconds by 1,000. So we can do 4 for 4 seconds, and then... Uh, the little asterisk, or you can press shift and then 8 on your computer, is the multiplication sign. And then we can just type in 1000. So now, we can just change this nice and easily. So we can make it suddenly 7 seconds, or 3 seconds, or whatever. And now that will quickly change. And uh, be a little bit easier to read. Another thing that we can do is we can take this and just cut that, Command X on Mac, Control X on Windows. And we can just go down here and then paste it right there. So that's Command V on Mac and Control V on Windows. So now we can just quickly define um, the period of delay in seconds there and it will automatically convert it to milliseconds right down here and that all then functions very smoothly there and makes it a little bit easier to read if you're let's just say not doing anything all that complex with your numbers uh, like down here and whatnot and this also like this assigning also can apply to things like the random function so I'm just going to uh, cut right here, uh, command X or control X depending on your operating system, and then paste command V or control V. And so now, uh, let me just delete this line here because we won't need it anymore. So now the random, as soon as the global variable is created, it's also assigned to a new random class. And so that can you see, it starts to streamline uh, the project down here. However, things like the drive and the pilot, they kind of, or the drive in particular, depends on having a pilot set up. And it can be a little bit finicky going up here, where you would need to put them in the proper order, similar to down here. Um, but we're just going to leave them in the main project there. So now we have a very quick and easy access to just change this, and it changes it down here. So let's just say we had a delay there, we had a delay here, so a second delay, period, and then multiply that by 1000. So now, instead of changing the 7 seconds in two places, we just change it in one place. And so that can be where variables are very handy and uh, where it makes it very nice to just use a bunch of basically defines up here 
and then uh, changing that will change it everywhere you use it. So, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!